Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to be taking a look at the top 10 mods for logging, not including Platinum DLC. I love Platinum, but you know, I know not everyone wants to pay for mods or DLC, so let's take a look at some stuff not counting Platinum, because there's a lot out there that can really help your efficiency and work much better than base game stuff that isn't Platinum. So, to start off with here, we have the CSZ pack from DD Mod Passion, and you're going to find that one under packs in Mod Hub. So, the one that we really like here is the Big Bag Handler. And that's because it makes it so much easier to pick up lumber after it's all cut up. So if you've got it cut up over here, either from a harvester or just from using a chainsaw, you can come right over to it and you're going to be able to just strap it right to your big bag handler. So you can grab big piles over here as easy as that. Now, this may happen if you're running out on a front loader like we are right now. If you try to pick up too much, you're not going to have the weight. You can add a weight to the back of your tractor and it will help a good bit. But this big bag handler also attaches to wheel loaders. So if we come right back over this way and we grab our class wheel loader here. We can hook up to this other big bag handler that I have that's configured for a wheel loader and we can come pick up this little pile with no problem at all. The big thing to look for in the wheel loaders when you're doing logging though is look at the weight. This is I believe the heaviest one you can get in base game and it really really helps having the extra weight. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at these little trailers I've got right here. This is the HW80 wood trailer by Camellios0397, and you're going to find this one under Forestry Equipment and Mod Hub. And I love these trailers. Now, this lumber is cut a little bit long for these trailers right now, but I mean, you've got trailable, trailerable, tandem configuration, whatever you want to call it. You can hook multiple trailers together, and these are really cheap. I mean, let's. Pull them up in Mod Hub real quick so that I can actually give you the price on them. They're going to be under forestry equipment and or not in Mod Hub in the shop. They're only thirty eight hundred bucks. I mean that is one of the absolute cheapest trailers I found to start off with in, with wood, and it works perfect with like six meter logs. You can go up to about eight with trailing them. If all you're doing is running one, you can do a lot longer because it'll stick out the back and as long as you strap it down, it won't be a problem at all. But this has to be one of my favorite trailers for lumber because you can set up 10 of them if you want to and just have 10 stacks of lumber. So you can kind of scale your operation for less than four grand a piece. All right, next one we're going to take a look at here is one of my favorites and it's another really simple little one. This is the DFM Tools Pack by Giants, and you're gonna find it in Forestry Equipment and Mod Hub as well. So, it comes with a couple different attachments, and they are mostly set up for skid steers, but if you use that CSZ Tools Pack, you can get an adapter to run it on a front loader instead, so you don't have to get a skid steer. But, this thing is awesome. So, we're gonna turn it on here, and it's going to just really quickly cut down any tree we want. Sometimes it will get tapped out to where you can't do really large trees. But I mean, even this one in front of us, which is a decent size, all we have to do is drive right up to it and we'll just chop it right down. So you can just kind of run around way faster than using a chainsaw and hack them down. And part of the reason I like doing that is you can get really efficient by going through, cutting a bunch down, and then bringing them back to a harvester instead of bringing the harvester to the trees. Especially with the first harvester we're going to take a look at today. So the problem we run into now, though, is we've got all of these trees cut down. But how do we move them, right? Because we can't pick them up since they're too large and I'm on console. We don't have 
we don't have super strength or the lumberjack mod or anything like that. So that's where our next mod is going to come into play here. So this is part of the Lizard Forest Pack by HR Forced und Furtzkebaro under Forestry Equipment and Mod Hub. And this is a nice skitter arm. And it's pretty cheap too. I mean, it was right next to our HW80. So let's take a look at it again because I don't want to give you the wrong price. 1200 bucks. That's not bad. It'll attach to any sort of three points. So all you got to do is hook it up to your tractor. And you've got both the crane arm and you do have a blade on the back to help you move things around if you need to. But we're going to come over here. We're going to open it up and we're going to grab this tree. And we're just going to drive right back towards our right back towards our harvester here. So you do get a little bit of side to side wiggle, which really helps. Unfortunately, you can't intentionally change your direction on the claw. I would love it if you could, but even without it, I mean, you can kind of swing this over and bring it around so that you can drop it kind of where you want to. That's definitely not perfect. But, I mean, that's not bad. And that works really easy to be able to just skid something over. Now on to our little harvester here. This is the Ponce Three Point Wood Harvester by Kenny456. You're going to find it in Mod Hub under Forestry. And to be honest, I absolutely love this tiny little harvester. The only downside is you do have to have the legs out when you use it which means you can't drive around. So you can go tree to tree and do it, but you're gonna have to just keep folding and unfolding it, which I, it's not ideal. So what I tend to do is I'll do it just like we've got it set up here and I'll bring a cut tree over to it. And we're just gonna try and grab this one that I laid on top here. There we go. Swing it around so that we'll line everything up correctly. There we go. That looks about good. And what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and cut. And we've got this set up right now for nine meter lengths. And we're just going to chop them up right into our little cubby hole here. And of course, miss one just because, you know, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and finish these up real quick, and then we'll go ahead and talk about exactly what this little setup I have to help with storing our lumber here. All right, so this little box that we're using to store and accumulate all of our lumber here is made using the Concrete Wall by Nico Picks, which is going to be under Decorations in Mod Hub, and then you're going to find it under, and then you're going to find it under Decoration and Others in your build menu. and. It really just kind of helps to keep everything neat and tidy and make it a lot easier to grab and load onto a trailer. Now that's where our next problems come in though. So first off, this is still kind of sloppy and we're gonna fix that. But more importantly, we really can't lift that much of a time out of here. Even with the wheel loader, it's not gonna work too well. You can kind of do it, but if you have it this filled, you're gonna need something a little bit better. So the first thing we're gonna do though, to clean that up a little bit, is we're going to grab our wheel loader and we don't want our bag handler so we're going to go ahead and detach that and we're going to grab the dozer blade over here this is also from that csz tools pack and we're just going to come and slam everything forwards to neaten up the end of it and get them all lined up so that when we stick them onto a trailer we can do two full stacks of them a lot easier than if it's all sloppy here. So we're just going to kind of bash those right in. And straighten everything out a little. And we're probably not going to get it perfect because, I mean, we're starting to push up over the other end a little. And it's not a perfectly flat blade or anything like that. There are some other blades you can get that will be a little bit flatter, 
but I kind of wanted to try and do this with as few mods as we could so that you don't have to download, you know, 50 mods, 30 mods, whatever, to just do some efficient logging. All right. So now that we've got that, let's grab our log fork. Right over here, we've got the Timber Jaw Wheel Loader Log Fork by FSG Modding. You're going to find it under Wheel Loaders or under Forestry Equipment and Mod Hub. And then in-game, you'll find it under Forestry Equipment. Now, this thing is massive compared to your standard Log Fork in base game or anything in the CSZ Tools Pack. But it's going to work the exact same way. It just gives you a much, much larger opening so that you can get a very, very good sized grab to pull up and load. Now, I do have one complaint with this wheel or with this log fork, which is it has collision. And I don't really just mean, yeah, the fork will collide with things. We expect that to happen, but it almost has like extra collision on it. So if you'll see if I can get this straightened out a little bit, let's try and do it like this. Let's just try and load it right in as much as we can here. So if I come up and over, kind of like I normally would, and I come down, as soon as I start opening my jaws here, see, we're flipping that trailer. Because the problem is, over on this side, even though we're not touching anything, it's still getting collision on the trailer here. And it does that with any trailer that I've used it just, for whatever reason, seems to have like an extra wide collision path outside of the actual log fork. So it makes loading a lot of a lot of lumber difficult. We could definitely use it to unload everything that's in here. But if we want to go a little bit faster to fill up something like this, we kind of want something a little bigger, a little better. And that's where this Lieber LRS645 by Kenny456, which you're gonna find under wheel loaders or forestry equipment and mod hub, that's where this comes in. This thing is a monster for logs. So we're gonna come over and open up our jaws here. And not only does it open and go up and down, but it does extend out as well. So we're going to maneuver just right. I probably should take out one more concrete wall there, but I know we can still get in there just fine the way it is. We're going to come over and drop down right on top of it. and flip our entire thing over. There we go. We're gonna come down. We're gonna grab that whole bundle. There we go. And now that we sorted the controls out again, we've got that giant bundle of lumber all piled up. We're gonna bring it in a little bit closer and we're gonna drop it down just to take a little bit of the weight off here. And I may have actually grabbed too much to be able to drive. We're kind of moving. All right. So what we're going to do, since apparently it cannot lift quite this much weight too easily on this ground. Back up just a little bit. Extend this out a little bit. And we're going to lift it a little bit again. And we're going to do something that we would never want to do in real life. We're going to run underneath of it just to grab these small logs and kind of toss them out of the way here all right so even though we can't really move around with it too much because the amount of weight we're just going to bring our trailer over to it and this trailer is fantastic this is the flagel timber runner by hr forest and Fuchskabau under forestry equipment and mod hub and the really special thing about this i'll show you in one second once we get this loaded there we go we've got a massively massively overloaded trailer right which means normally 
driving around something like this, especially if we did have a second load on there, is going to make this trailer really, really tippy and make it really easy to flip this entire load. But the really neat thing is right over here, we've got a nice little meter here and that actually changes where our center of balance is. So if we hit our left bumper and then use our right stick up and down, we are actually gonna be able to add to lower our center of balance. And you're gonna do that up until the point where you see the entire trailer starting to shift like this, and then you're gonna back it off a little bit. And now we've actually lowered where our center of gravity is, and you're not gonna be able to tip this thing. I mean, you can try as hard as you want, and it's just about impossible to tip this. So if you're running a really fast truck on the front of it, you don't have to worry about flipping it, getting stuck, having to bring more equipment down to untip it, things like that. You can almost kind of start to, but you can see we're tipping the actual truck and then the trailer's kind of evening us back out on it. So, I mean, I, I love this, especially for console. We don't have auto load. We've got to load up ourselves and this makes it so much easier that you don't have to worry about flipping it. Now, if we're running all this other big equipment, we've got this massive wheel loader. We've got our harvester here to try and process down quick over here. We've got a massive trailer to load up. We're probably going to want more than that little skitter that we have. So we're going to take a look at a little bit bigger of a skitter. This is the John Deere 948L-2 by North Modding Company, and you're gonna find it in Mod Hub under Forestry Equipment. It does have a different configuration or a couple different ones, so you don't have to have these giant wheels on there, but it does make getting over stumps very easy. You really don't have to worry about them much at all, I say as I run into one, because we've got our blade all the way down on the front, and it does have this nice blade on the front, and other than being able to just simply push logs around, you can actually make fields with that blade. You can use it like a plow, which comes in really handy for getting rid of bushes like that. And it's a really nice feature to have. I can't find a complaint about that. The other neat thing with this overall is you can also change driving directions. So you can drive straight towards all of your lumber, all of your logs that you want to grapple. And with this size of a grapple, you can get more than one log at a time. You can get a couple different trees all at once by just coming over to them, grabbing them with your grapple, and we're gonna kind of back up a little bit and maneuver right back over towards this tree because then we can reopen our grapple and we're gonna pick it up and then we're gonna drop it back down. And I mean, now we've got two trees that we're bringing in together. And to be honest, you can do this a few times. You can get three or four. If you wanted to take a chainsaw and delimb them all, you could do that and it'll, it'll help make it a little bit easier to grab them, a little bit easier to see. But we can switch our driving direction back again and now we can haul both trees at once over to our wood harvester. And this is without needing the platinum DLC because with the platinum, you can do it with a winch. And to be honest, that does work a little bit easier, but I mean, this works and it works pretty well to be able to just simply bring this all over, drop them. We're gonna back up a little bit just so we can kind of maneuver around. and you would be able to go ahead and start harvesting those down or pile a bunch up first and then harvest them all down. Now, I know not everyone wants to harvest in one spot like this. You might want to go and just harvest your trees in the field, make a pile, and then you can bring them back with your big bag loader like we did before. And that's where this harvester is going to come into play. This is the Ponce Scorpion King, HR Forced on Fartskabau. You're gonna find it in Mod Hub under Forestry Equipment and in the shop under Forestry Equipment. Now, 
the reason I like this and the reason I bring this out as opposed to using a harvester from base game, not only does it go by half meter increments so that if you want to just cut the tree down and delimit, you can do that. If you want tiny little logs that you can pick up by hand and throw into the back of a pickup truck, you can do that as well. But it is cheaper and works on bigger trees than almost anything in base game. So if we take a look in the shop real quick here and we go to forestry machines, all the way down at the end here, we've got it 38,000 or 385,000 and it'll go up to 90 centimeters. If we compare that to what we have in base game, 80 centimeters for 470,000, 445,000 for 64, and 435,000 for 71. So it'll work on any lumber you come across other than maybe redwoods and platinum edition. And it's cheaper. And it's not so unrealistically cheaper or anything, but I mean, it's, it's a little bit cheaper, a little bit easier to get right off the bat or to lease because the lease pricing is gonna be cheaper too. And it still works just as efficiently as everything else does, as long as you line it up correctly and don't just start playing around with it like I am now. There we go. So we can still cut everything down, bring it over and cut it up into smaller lumber segments. The other nice thing with this is if you hit your right bumper, you can go into toggle steering modes and it's not like our fast track that we've been using as our tractor where you've got crab steering because i mean it is articulated y you don't really need to worry about crab steering but it's got bogey lift meaning you can set it up so that you've got a couple wheels off the ground so if you are running into stumps and getting stuck or if you have a very very large sloped side that you're working on you can pick that front side up and help get around things that you normally couldn't. You can also lift up the back or front and back. Or you can just stay flat, but I mean, that right there is, is pretty neat to be able to have in case you're getting stuck or if you're running over some logs and having issues. Cause I mean, let's, let's go over here and it does kind of force you to go a little bit slower. But if we come over and start driving right over these trees, I mean, it's kind of fun. And it can definitely help keep you from getting stuck and needing to grab something else to try and wedge this machine out of wherever you've got it or having to reset it back to the shop. And I mean, just because it is also one of my just kind of fun favorite mods here, we're going to turn it into the giant spinning wheel machine of death because we've got a skid loader with a giant saw on the front of it. So let's make an OSHA manual explode somewhere because we've got this saw blade running now and somewhere now there is an exploding OSHA manual. And we flipped. Yeah, that thing's a little scary. All right. So thank you for watching everybody. Have a great day. Happy gaming.